Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. Today, as you can see by the myriad of boxes behind me, we are moving. We are moving like a lot of my stuff from Perth to Glasgow. I get the keys for the new apartment today. Apartment? Why do I call it an apartment? It's a flat. Sophie comes back on Friday, but I won't have the car then, so I'm trying to act now. My mom has a day off work, so it's all systems go. Filled the car with all my shite, and we're going to the flat probably for one of the last times. Yeah, I'm never gonna have another sleepover in Dunchanton Street. Oh, I'm really sad though to be moving from that flat because I just love it so much. But then when you take a step back, I'm like, I did my dissertation in there, which was very stressful. I had COVID, which wasn't nice. It's so icy in Scotland all the time. When I film in the car, I can't listen to any music. And I think that is a trait of mentalist. Someone who drives in silence, you know, that freaks me out. Oh my god, last week was very traumatic for me. Poppy, I literally thought she was dying. I couldn't eat, I literally couldn't sleep. Anyone with dogs, I'm sure you'll understand if you don't have a dog, it's fine. Basically, she kept throwing up. Dogs, you know, sick, whatever, they can throw up. But this was like, she threw up on like the Monday at night and I was like, oh, she was sick, whatever. Tuesday, she threw up again. And then Wednesday, she threw up like three times in the morning, like all in my room, like I was beside myself. So my mum took her to the vet and she got this anti-sickness injection, which is the best bloody drug on the dog market. And it's, you know, cured her. And then, so, but that only lasts for 24 hours. 24 hours passed and lo and behold, she was sick again. So I was like, she's dying. I mean, she's 15. I'm not ignorant to the fact that she's old, but I was just like, please not now. Oh my God, I think I'm... I'm gonna die because all these bodies. Anyway, then they took her bloods. So apparently, if it was a cancer or anything like that, it would show a change in the bloods. So I was like freaking out. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. I was just like watching the news, like boring. And that was the day. So all, I was watching the news just to try and like, you know, keep my mind. I'm so sorry, this is like crooked. I can't help it. There's bumps in the road. Uh, the council needs to fix that. Bloody Donald Trump and his boys are storming like the US Capitol. It was all, like my anxiety levels were so high. I was like, what the hell is going on? Give my heart a break. Anyway, long story short, Poppy is now fine. Her bloods came back fine. I think it was just like, they said it was like acid reflux. I look like the bloody Michelin man, but it's so cold. Still hunting for a job, apply for like literally 10 jobs a day, which is in itself taxing. Recently, me and my friends have been going on really long walks. That's what I'm gonna miss about Perth. Living in the center of Glasgow without a car, you can't really go on like woodland walks. I'm sure there's like parks and whatever, but in Perth, there's like trees all around and it's just so nice. And even like walking in your neighborhood is so nice. And like, it's not the same vibe in the middle of the city of Glasgow. Oh my God, the Starbucks, is it closed? This Starbucks is closed. Okay, I'm gonna calmly reverse. I'm going to calmly reverse. I think I've just hit something. Sinjiring guy. This is really sad, guys. Why is that? The lights are on, but truly no one is home. Okay, on the road again. Okay, well that was somewhat disappointing, but we are going to head on, and we are going to get our best foot forward and take deep breaths, and it is what it is. It's also hailstoning now. Rain means change, guys. Rain means find another coffee place. I'm kind of nervous to go into our old flat because I know it's like, I have a problem with like endings of things. Like saying bye to people, I can't do it. I just cry. Saying bye to places, cry. I'm a crier. And the new place is not that big. And this other one is bigger. Hi there. Yeah, this new place isn't that um, big in comparison to the place that we're living now. But when you're an adult and you have to think about council tax and all that, we are saving a butt ton of money. Thank you so much. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, for some reason, <laughs> she just told me happy birthday and I got that drink for free because on my Starbucks app, it says it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. I'll take a free drink. The landlord called me, very nice lady, Carol. Love you if you see this. I mean, probably not, but it's available to everyone on the internet, so you just never know. Yeah, she calls me yesterday and was like, I've just had the walls painted in the new place. So I am hoping and I'm praying that she's painted them white because if she's not, I'll vomit. I'll actually lose my mind because they're, they're white walls, but we went to see it. I mean, surely, surely. 
yeah, as I said, I'm a bit apprehensive about moving, but I feel like a little bit of feng shui is what the doctor ordered. Every time I drive for like long periods of time, like my back hurts. I bet you don't get that in a Tesla or something. Okay, just picked up the keys from our landlord. I've also just had the Met office on the phone, aka my mother. There's like snow warnings for three o'clock this afternoon, so the race is on. I really need to pee and I'm really hungry. I just like, I'm running on low here, people, but I'll do it. I can and I will. You know what, I was gonna do an actual flat tour just now, but then I'm thinking I'd rather do that for another vlog. So, <laughs> teaser! I need help, but it's nothing that we can't do. God, the kitchen is so weird, I can't even. It is Baltic in here. All right. I've self diagnosed myself with scoliosis, so maybe I'll never walk again. The police, I, I've seen so many police people driving around, just like on the roads, like going to and from. Every time they come close to me, I think that I've done something wrong. One time when I just passed my driver's test, I was reversing out of my mum's driveway and I accidentally like cut someone off. Like I didn't see someone coming and obviously they gave me a dirty look, but then I proceeded to stop my journey, go inside, start crying and tell my mum that I'm gonna lose my license because they were gonna call the police and report me, but really, it was just cutting someone off. Drama, I'm a drama queen. I'm just about to go to the shop because my brother wants rice. So, oh my God, there's the police again. They keep following me, I swear to God. Oh my God, could you imagine if I got arrested? Are they coming in here? No, they're not. <sighs> like I keep seeing police fans everywhere. And no matter what's going on, I always think it's for me. I don't know why, guilty conscience, obviously. Oh my God. Home is a place, no, home is a feeling. What is that say? Home is a place. Home is a feel. Home is not a place. It's a feeling. My back. My back. You act. All right, people. I've diagnosed with myself. I've self-diagnosed myself. I mean. Oh my God! I wasn't even filming. F S.